Hi everyone, I'm Emily from the Literacy Nest, and I'm going to talk today about how to get started with using Wordless Builder. The one thing that I want you to start off with is this, the power is in the search. You can make your searches as generic or as specific as you want them to be. It is going to take a little bit of time for you to do some exploration first though. I'm going to walk you through just the basics to get you started and then take that opportunity after this video is over with to kind of play around with it. So when you get started with Wordless Builder and you log in, you'll notice there's a blue header up here and that some of my icons are just a little bit different because I'm an administrator of the site but what you'll want to find is the tab that says My Folders and go to that. And once you're in there, you'll want to create a new folder. So you click on that, give it a name. You might want to name the folder after a particular student or you might want to name it after a particular spe spelling, pattern, skill, phonogram, whatever. Um, I haven't named my folders after students' names because I'm finding naming them after certain spelling patterns to be a bit more helpful for me. So it's really up to you. So you give it a name, type it in, click add folder, and then close out and it will show up. I'm going to use one of the folders that I've created already and show you how I add words to it. So I have the folder called VCCV that I'm going to use today. When I hover, over it. it shows when I created it, whether I want to trash it, I don't, <laughs> or whether I want to edit the name, whatever. So when you hover over that, you have a couple of options. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you created a folder. So you created the folder. The next thing you'll want to do is go to search. Okay, now this is the main page to conduct any searches. So where it says find words, there's a drop down right here. This is the drop down. You want to click on that arrow and you can type in something if you want. What I would recommend is scroll through and look to see what you have for your options. Some of the search terms will have an additional drop-down menu. For instance, if I go to the search term called vowel teams, then look what happens. Another drop-down pops up to the right. And if I click on that, then I'm going to have a lot of different vowel team choices. So, that is one way to refine if you're in a very, very broad category. But since my folder that I'm working on today with you is VCCV, then I can scroll up and I see all of my syllable division choices. So I'm going to go to that one that I want. And then I'm going to go to search just to show you what happens. So it's pretty broad right now. I have 197 results. Now I'm not going to give a child a word list with 197 words, um, but I can refine it. So I'm going to click on more. Now this is where the power of the search and wordless builder comes in. This is where you can refine even more. Say you only want words that start with a particular letter or end with a particular letter. That might work really well when you're in the early stages with children who need just three letter words or you're working on a particular phonogram. Say you need words that are a particular length, okay? So you could do any length, but I'm going to say for VCCV words, let's just go up 
to four letters, but they're called characters. And I, of course, don't want to make the words two syllables long. And let's just see what comes up. So then I click on search again. Let's see what I get. I think I have to just do a little bit. So I, I'm going to go above. I'm going to change it a little bit. because I think I, my numbers are a little off. So let's just make it a little larger. Okay. Now it's thinking. Okay. So I have a few different here um, that I might want to use, but it really depends on where your students are at. So since I'm doing a little bit of a review with some BCCV, but maybe I just want um, some closed syllable ones in there. Let's say I'll pick out just ones that are that have those closed syllables in each. So I want, let's, I'll show you how I select them. Let's say I just picked compact. I'll pick consults. These are alphabetical, by the way. Contest. So I'm, what I'm doing is, is clicking on that little box. Dentist. disrupt. I need to go to the next page. I'll go there. Okay. Let's do gremlin inspect. And so what I want to do is click on and there was, I had 48 results for that one that I did, save selected words. And it'll tell me, well, where do you want to save it? I want to go to VCCV. Okay. So I want to be sure is that what might end up happening is if I only saved a couple from one page, I want to just be sure that the words that I got from the first page it saved as well. So I'm just going to go back and just double check that I have those. So I may have to go back and select those again. Okay, so I picked four of them. Save selected words, BCCV. All right, so let's see if those come up. I'll go into my folders. And I click on VCCV. It tells me the date. Okay, so the words that I picked wound up in this folder. Okay, so I only have six words right now, and that's a little small. I might want to add some more. Let's say, oh, but I really wanted this one particular word, but I just didn't find it in my search right away. Let's just say I wanted rabbit. There, rabbit just got added in. Okay. Um, so if you happen to be thinking about words, that you don't want to have to go back in and do a whole search all over again. And you just want to find one word to add in at a time. You can do it that way too. And, and that's pretty fast. Okay. So I have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven words. You have the option. I'm removing them. Okay. And, or adding more. In my next video, I'm going to show you how to put them into a template. Thanks, everybody.